If you wanna see some crazy and all so lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, for sure it's so funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just ooh, ooh, ooh. What we wanna do tonight. Good morning, happy Monday. I hope you're all okay. I've got an Asda shop behind me. <laughs> it's half past nine in the morning. I had the delivery to come between eight and 10. Not that that makes any difference to you, but it came literally about half an hour, 45 minutes ago, and I still haven't managed to put it away because the baby's just been clung to me. <laughs> so I've laid it all out and I just thought I'd quickly show you. Right, so we've got some of this uh, bird's eye steamed veg. Got some alpha bites some hash browns, some potato waffles. I've got these to try, I've not tried these before. They're the vegetarian for cauliflower cheese, crispy grills and, well, I love cauliflower and cheese, so let's see. Some of my favorite spicy bean burgers there. And then I just got some chicken fingers, crispy chicken, some hot and spicy chicken, some barbecue chicken griddles. Oh, and more fingers. Did I mean to do that? I don't know. I got some of these yogurts for me to try. And then some of these tubes. Two lots of Munch Bunch yogurts. I got some of these sweet clementines. How beautiful do these look? They look so nice. Some grapes, some green grapes, and some red grapes. I love red grapes. David prefers green grapes. I got some little gem lettuces. So I got two of them. I got some avocados and I got two lots of strawberries, one's already open because the madam's already had some out of it. And then there's some peppers there, some tomatoes. I got these thinking they look yummy. You get four, they're not going to last me two minutes. <laughs> some spring onions and a cucumber, mushrooms. What's that? It's cress. So I got some cress. Some of the mushroom stir fry if you can see. I got two packs of them milk, I've got blue top, my oatly milk and some green top, two lots of carrot batons, some radish, I've got some egg noodles and some of the plain noodles, these stir fries to go with them, some of the corn smoked ham that I'll do with them, that I'll do with bacon, two lots of hummus, onions, bananas, cracker bread, rice cakes, apples, a chicken in a bag, some fruit loaf, some rolls, naan bread because I think I'm going to do a lentil and chickpea curry at some point this week, rivitas, baked beans. I got two tins of lentils, I got two tins of tomatoes, some of the Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, cereals I got honey hoops, choco hoops, Weetabix and malted wheats, some muesli and granola, two packs of them. Some microwave rice. These ones are substitute for popcorn. Right, okay. <laughs> some Walker's crisps. And then I got some of these for Blake to try. Some Cadbury's cream eggs. And then just some sweets. Some bourbons. These ones are sub. I did order some strawberry and chocolate ones, but these came. I don't know if David's going to like them. Some monsters. I did order a big pack as well, but they didn't come. Lemonade. Pop for the kids. I ordered some vitamin B12, some white potatoes. I also ordered a big 30 pack of Diet Coke that's still in the hallway and a big light pack of water as well that's in the hallway still. And I think that is it. Blake, what's happened? It looks like you've been painting with yogurt. She's kind of got her yogurt all over. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so she's decided not to have a nap today. So I have a sink full of pots I need to try and get done with this little rug wrap because she doesn't let me do anything. Do you? You don't let me do anything. I need to get a change. She's got yogurt everywhere and she's all over the sofa. Oh no. Corbin's just got a new set of top trumps. Let's have a look. The Justice League ones. So we've got Batman and Joker yeah, and however else. I don't know. We'll have to have a look through that later. So yesterday's vlog was the first vlog that I edited on um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Now that's 
a bit tricky, isn't it? My goodness, I can't believe how like different it is to iMovie. Like there's just twice I pressed something and it went wrong and I had to start all over again. I was trying to look at like effects and stuff and I ended up messing it up like loads and even David's like, what have you done? I'm like, I've no idea. It's it's so much more complicated, my battery's going. Yeah, but I'm gonna stick with it and I'm gonna watch some videos and play around with it. Imagine, I did play around with it and that's how I ended up messing it up. Or I might just put some random clips in like from my old videos and have a play with it and it don't matter if I mess it up then. And then just like make a video with like different effects and stuff. The battery. I know. <laughs> the battery is low. Today is Monday the 22nd of February and Boris is going to be... Hang on, let me prop you up. And tonight Boris is going to be addressing the nation to start the roadmap to easing the lockdown so we can hopefully finally get out of this once and for all. There has been a few things that's been leaked out already. I mean, it's only one o'clock. He's not in the House of Commons until half past until half yeah it's not in the house of comments till like half three so obviously stuff's been leaked out is that all schools are expected to reopen on the 8th of march it's really it's crazy because uh, my daughter goes to a high school that has different holidays to like other schools like they're a bit more forward thinking when it comes to holidays so they um, tweak some of the holidays a lot of the holidays don't coincide with other schools so Abby's holiday that everybody's had now is actually, actually starts on the 8th of March and she's got two weeks off. So she won't be going back on the 8th of March, she'll be going back two weeks later, which in a way I'm actually happy about because then they'll have had a couple of weeks to see how things are going. What is that? Want to come and say hello? <laughs> and then she doesn't really have an Easter break. Like they have some um, staff days and they do like long weekends. But it works out quite good with holidays because you can get holidays not in like your average school term. So you can get cheaper holidays. Right, so me and Corbin are playing the, um, what is it, the DC, the, <coughs> oh bless you, the DC. Top Trump's DC Justice League. So what did you say? Um, weapons and tech, 40. Oh no, I just got 11. Powers, 69. <gasps> Powers, 70. Yay! So I'm going with weapons and tech, 45. Did I win? Yeah. Reverse flash. Reverse flash. So while me and Corbin are playing these top trumps, Kira and Blake. I'm colouring it. <laughs> the castle. Which is a good job they're doing it now, really, because it's probably going to collapse. I was down to my last couple of cards and I've seemed to have made a comeback. I lost. There are there. I got down to my last couple of cards about two or three times and then I came back and then the last one was Harley Quinn and it was rubbish. Because you do Harry Styles and then, because you did Kira, because you did you says Harry Styles, but the people at home can see it. Got to port to five. Still awake, but I put it in the wash earlier on and I forgot to put it in the dryer, so I've just put it in the dryer now, but she's just been looking for it. So I'm just kind of distracting her with Justin's house and stuff. She's getting a bit tired now, I can tell. Blake, do the uh... Are you King Kong? I am King Kong! <laughs> yes, Billy Billy. Are you copying Corbin? She's doing it again. <laughs> you silly bugger. At least it's keeping her awake. Look at the artwork. I'm earlier her on. <laughs> so I'm just going to show what I got from Sheen. Um, I only got a few bits, but I did get a few bits the other day, which are upstairs. But I got this cute little, like, zebra like i don't even know what to, it's like a sleeveless crop top it's quite cute and then actually i'll show this first got some cute fashion glasses they're just like gold rimmed fake glasses i just thought they'd be really cute to pair with like an outfit um i then got this long sleeve cropped like 
shirt it says beautiful girl and it's got like cute flames i've said the word cute so many times it's got flames going up each of the sleeves i just thought it'd be really nice and i'll and i'll wear this to school as well which i quite like it's basically the same thing as this one but it's just black it's got some i don't know whether that's chinese or japanese writing um and i'm not too sure what it says so i hope it's not anything offensive but it's got like like little dragons going up the sleeves i just find these tops really nice and like you can just tuck them on with pretty much anything this top's really hard to show. It basically is like a it's like a V-neck, but it's like crossed over, and it's got like an elastic bit here that like cinches in. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really cute. And then the things I got the other day was mini checkered pink skirt, and um, oh yeah, it was just a little crop top. I'm actually wearing it right now. You saw it the other day. So that's all I got, and I love all of it. <laughs> So, when everyone is locked down, whether it's today, Here we go. six, nine months, we've got to be realistic and accept it. I'm going to miss that this guy. Is that, uh, Chris Witty. The, uh, the vaccine, uh, vaccine led to a 72% reduction. I think the last thing I filmed was Boris. So, let's see how that goes. He's basically saying, I think, by 21st of June, is it? If everything goes to plan and okay things will be uh, as back to normal as possible which is really good isn't it so let's see slow and steady I think he's definitely doing the right thing and we'll see how it goes but anyway I'm gonna go we're gonna watch some of our show definitely recommend it how to get away with murder that's what it's called right I'm gonna go thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow bye